entire premise of this show is at the center of what we're about to see right here between Sammy Callahan and Bully Ray. One represents the past of extreme. Sammy Callahan, who many people say is the future of extreme. This is a war that will undoubtedly leave destruction in its wake. House of Glory may never be the same after this match is over. J.D., Sammy Callahan's opponent, Bully Ray, has more titles, more world titles than you and I have fingers and toes put together. This is gonna break down. This is gonna be a war. Sammy Callahan said, and I quote, I don't give a damn if someone is a veteran or a WWE Hall of Famer. I'm going to be a Hall of Famer one day. Sammy wants to be shown respect, the same level of respect that people would show Bully Ray. But JD, in order for Sammy to get that respect, he's got to put in the time that Bully Ray's put in. How many years has Bully Ray been in this industry? Longer than I've been alive. Sammy Callahan said that Bully Ray is jealous of his success, that every time they are in the same room, the same town, every time he would call into Bully Ray's busted open radio, that Bully Ray knows that all anyone cares about is Sammy Callahan, that he is the highest rated segment on busted open radio. Sammy said on social media that he's coming into Bully's backyard and he's going to embarrass him right here in New York City. That's what's on the line there, the Crown Jewel Championship. Sammy Callahan. Last time we see him defend that title was against Low Key. At high intensity seven, that's where Bully Ray made his presence known.
may call yourself the Callahan Death Machine, but I'm the New York City Death Machine. And there's a clothesline there by Bully Ray. Those are the words uttered by Bully Ray at High Intensity 7. Knife edge shot. No effect. Look at that. Look at look at this psychotic son of a bitch, Sammy Callahan, taking his vest off. He's taking his vest off. Opening up his chest for Bully Ray. As the ancient Chinese proverb says, be careful what you wish for. <laughs> the House of Glory faithful are pleased at what they are watching. Okay. Oh my God. Callahan may be rethinking, unzipping that vest. This has certainly been an old school versus new school mentality. Bully Ray wanting to teach Callahan a lesson, another one. Oh my God. I, I, ladies and gentlemen, I can't call that. You have ears, you have eyes. Come to your own conclusions. Ow. He went for another one. Callahan moved out of the way. And Bully Ray just leveled Callahan with a clothesline. That knife edge shot did absolutely nothing. Into the steel barricade goes Callahan. We are so lucky and fortunate to be calling this match for you guys. This match probably wouldn't have happened anywhere else except for House of Glory. Oh my God, Callahan right into the barricade. Sammy has wanted this match. It never happened until tonight. Callahan called Bully Ray a, pretty much a coward. Oh, knife edge chopped to the steel post. And Callahan, his fist, his hand, met the steel post as well. JD, skin wait versus minute, Wait a minute, wait a minute, Bully Ray has a beer. Well, the House of Glory faithful sitting directly in front of these guys got their money's worth right there. We go home to the wife and kids tonight. Yeah, honey, I got a beer thrown on me by Bully Wright as he goes right into the barricade. Oh, look at this, look at this sick, psychotic son of a bitch. The guy's not normal, Ben. The, the guy has a few screws loose. Let, let's just say that that knife edge chop maybe, was maybe juice. I maybe I should be quiet. He may come over here and shut me down again. Oh, knife edge chop there by Callahan. This guy does not care. Does not care whatsoever. JD, the count's at eight. Referee's gonna let this one go. Crown Jewel Championship on the line. Thumbs up. There you go. Callahan, full head of steam. Around the ring we go. Super kick by Bully Ray. If I could do the Chris Berman impersonation, I would have did it right there. JD. The House of Glory faithful 
are calling for the tables. They want blood. They want Callahan's blood. They Tonight. want. They want wood, JD. They want wood. <laughs> As Bully Ray gets slammed on the apron. Oh, actually, Callahan. I'm sorry. Slams Callahan on the apron. Devastating Lex. Thumbs to the eye! Kick right to the face by Callahan. I want to say, yeah, that one well scouted, but this isn't a wrestling match. This is a bar fight. Right in the middle of that ring here at the NYC Arena, like I said before, Callahan called. Bully Ray, a coward, saying he didn't want to have this match in the past because nobody could pay Bully Ray enough money to step into the ring with Callahan. And in typical Bully Ray fashion, comes out after a brutal match with low key. And Sammy Callahan said Bully Ray tried to steal the spotlight at high intensity seven as he's choking Bully Ray on the bottom rope there. Sammy Callahan has to worry less about the House of Glory. Never mind, he's going under the ring. Worry less about the House of Glory faithful and keep his eye. Oh. This is our crown jewel champion, ladies and gentlemen. He went for a table because the House of Glory faithful wanted it and then gave them his form of I love you. Right back to a headlock. As he spits into the crowd. Callahan trying to take down a much larger Bully Ray. Trying to suck the life out of him. Bully Ray can't breathe, he ain't fighting tonight. Callahan, now look at this. Bully Ray trying to fight out. Choking him out, thumb to the eye, trying to suffocate him. JD Callahan is coming very close to that five count, which will lead to a DQ. He don't care. He don't care. He gets disqualified, he keeps the title. Champion's advantage, JD. The title does not change hands on a DQ. Big right hand by Bully Ray. You can see the fatigue both men. Have just dripping off of the knee right to the midsection there by Callahan. Off the ropes. A few more right hands by Sandy. Big elbow drives Callahan down. Close line. Sandy too quick. Kick to the midsection. Oh man, vintage bully Ray there. Goes for the cover, hooks the leg. Callahan grabs the bottom rope. Great almost, ring awareness there by Callahan. Almost had a new champion there, JD. Sherry sure, Vander James is watching this match very carefully as right now. He is the number one contender. He may be looking at either Callahan or Bully Ray for that crown jewel championship. Just met Bully Ray's elbow. Accidentally. Uh oh, we could be going for a power bomb, but there's no One, referee. Two, three, four. JD, we should have a new champion right now. We there should, should have a new crown jewel champion. Rob Black's been out here all night when we needed him. Where is he now? How's Billy Ray trying to wake up the referee? He ate that elbow shot. 
Sam Callahan has grabbed the he's grabbed the crown to a title. But Ben, he's got his back turned to Callahan. You do not turn your back on a psychotic son of a bitch like Sammy Callahan. Oh, that belt, the Crown Jewel Championship, right to the face. Here's another referee. One, two. And Bully Ray is still alive. The match continues, JD, the match continues. Sammy can't believe it. He thought he had the advantage with the original referee knocked out. He's taking the belt again. Wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He don't care. Sammy is uh, no stranger to uh, abusing referees. Bully Ray. Another power bomb. One, two. New champion, JD. Wait a minute! has been taken out has been silenced by the new york city death machine bully ray is your new crown jewel champion let me see sammy call busted open radio this week Wait a second, JD. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, both officials are arguing right now. The second official counted Callahan shoulders to the mat. Crown Bully Ray is the new Crown Jewel Champion. The original referee is explaining to the new referee that he was elbowed in the face. But we all seen it. The crowd knows it. It was done by accident. Oh, no. Oh, no, JD.
after the war that we've just seen, are these two men joining forces? Oh my God! Ladies and gentlemen, The crowd asked for it. Charles Mason goes up and he goes down as the table explodes. Check, please. I think Alex and Evander James want anything to do with both men in the ring right now. Shapiro cannot believe it. His plan backfired. And they're just leaving Charles in the middle of the ring. Look at this. They're not done, JD. Is it a case of them not being done, or is it a case of mutual respect? Yes! I don't believe it. Sammy Callahan put his hand out. Oh my God, I was about to say something nice. Don't need words to describe what just happened there, JD. As he gives everybody his I love you gesture, Sammy Callahan. What a war! Walking out of extreme warfare is Sammy Callahan, still your House of Glory Crown Jewel Champion.